right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Kind of excited to be here since this is my f official full video on the Canon EOS R5. Been loving this camera so far for the last week, week and a half I've had it. Just love it, can't say much about it. Haven't had an overheating issue like other people, but I understand this is a firmware limitation and not a hardware limitation. So hopefully Canon will, uh, you know, address that issue here shortly with a firmware update. So today I'm here to talk to you about 8K raw C-Log workflow. I watched a bunch of videos and, oh, it's going to kill your computer. And this is so hard on your computer. And I haven't had any problems whatsoever. So I'm going to show you a couple, two or three ways that you can process 8K raw video. It's a little bit of work, but it's not bad. And I had no problems in um, Digital Photo Professional, um, Canon Cinnamon Raw application, and Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, we'll go through those real quick, but my favorite by far is Final Cut Pro 10. Now there are some drivers you got to download from Canon and we'll go through that too. So make sure you get those drivers. If not, when the CRM file comes in, you know, your computer application is going to go, what the heck is this? I have no idea what this is. So we'll go through that on what you need to download. And then uh, I'll show you examples of each. Uh, I'm even going to do a quick import of an 8K raw file. Um, apply a LUT, do some color grading and exposure, and it's super simple and super easy. Now, rendering, that's a whole different story. Everything else is fine except for the rendering. That part is definitely going to take the longest. So what I usually do is I get everything, you know, the way I like it, color corrected, exposure, yada, yada, yada. And then I hit render all and walk away and come back by the time it's done, it's it's ready. So I'm not sure what all the big hubbub is about for this 8K RAW. Um, I've had no problems with it whatsoever. So uh, stand by and uh, let's get into the applications. Thanks. All right, everybody. So I just wanted to show you this over on the Canon USA website. We're going to go down to drivers and downloads. And these are the stuff I would recommend you download and install on your system. So hopefully that will be filled in here shortly, you know, a new firmware, but until then. So of course you're gonna need the Canon lookup tables. So I would definitely download this and use the 3D LUT. If you wanna use the best LUT for 8K RAW, which is 12-bit, I would des definitely use the 65 and whatever you're using for your color profiles. Like I use the 65 709 to 709 and it just comes out primo and i'll show you an example coming up i would definitely do the cinema raw development application this is a standalone free application from canon to develop your 8k raw footage i would also download the hevc activator this is for the high high efficiency codec that the Canon R5 and R6 and the newer cameras use for your compression algorithms. So I would definitely download this for Digital Photo Professional. I would definitely recommend downloading either the RAW plugin for Final Cut Pro or Avid Media Access. Um, I download it for Final Cut Pro because that's what I use for my main NLE or nonlinear editor. And of course, I would definitely download Digital Photo Professional, which is actually a pretty good app for your photos and your video. So starting out, I would definitely go over to your registered Canon site or country Canon site, you know, go to your R5 or your registered and download these applications slash utilities. This will help you a lot with your 8K raw workflow and just your workflow in general. So let me go ahead and get out of this and we'll, we'll get back. Thanks. All right, everybody. So here's one thing we can do for our 8K raw workflow. We're in Canon's digital photo professional, which is the latest version. And you can see when I brought in the 8K raw file, it just threw on a LUT. So you can actually use this to process your 
8K raw video. Uh, definitely not my favorite method per se. So let's go ahead and take a look at the info here just to show you it is in fact an 8K raw file as you can see here in the middle. So just an option for you and it's free from Canon. So definitely not my favorite method, but just throwing it out there as an option. All right, everybody. So here we are on another free Canon utility called Cinema Raw Development. And this is also another great free utility. Once again, definitely not my favorite approach to developing 8K Raw. But even my 2019 MacBook Pro will handle it. You know, it's a little choppy, but it's definitely usable. You know, especially once it, you know, renders out and all that stuff and you can export it. This is another option that's free from Canon once you register your Canon R5. I don't understand all these people saying, oh, 8K workflow is such a pain in the butt. And yeah, it's going to take longer because it it's harder on your computer. But it's definitely usable and not that pain of a butt, you know, not that much of a pain to edit it and grade it and all that other stuff. The biggest pain for me is the rendering and I just click render and walk away or export and walk away and come back. So that's another option. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get out of this and show you another option. Thanks. All right, everybody. So here we are back on Final Cut Pro 10. And there's a couple things that we want to do first before we get started. And by the way, this is my favorite way of editing 8K raw video. So the first thing we want to do is go up here to video and make sure we select better performance instead of better quality. The next, next thing we want to do is go up here to preferences. And right here on the first general tab, we want to turn off background render. We want to turn that off. And with those temps, two simple clicks, this should make 8K editing a breeze. And if you notice over here, I created a new event with nothing in it, and it's an 8K timeline. So let's go ahead and import a clip. And you won't see the CRM files unless you follow the first steps by down, downloading the Canon driver for Final Cut Pro. So that's why we can see these Canon CRM raw images. So if you don't do that, you won't be able to see anything and it basically will say, I don't know what type of file that is. So let's go ahead and import it. And let's go ahead and put this down in our timeline. And we'll hit Shift Z to make it bigger. And I'll just turn off the audio here because it's just garbage in the background, just scratch audio. So if you notice, you know, so far so good. I do have a preset that I want to throw on here. Oops, if I can find it, there we go. It's my video preset. And I'll go up here and show you what it is. And it's just basically a balanced color, draw mask, color board, hue, saturation, curve, and a custom LUT. You know, nothing big. I just don't want to waste time dragging and dropping it all over. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure this is white balance. And I'm doing this real time. I'm not going to speed anything up. Just so you can see that, yeah, no problems. So let's put a draw mask here on the gray card to see if we're white balanced. And we'll go up here and change to our vector scope. And we're not too bad, actually. But let's go ahead and balance it here with the eyedropper. And basically what we want is the dot in the center there. And that looks pretty good. So we go ahead and take the draw mask off. And the next thing we want to do is we want to throw on a custom LUT. Now, I, I downloaded these from the Canon website. I'm not using anything special. So let me just show you. So here's the latest 2019-11 Canon LUTs. And because this is 8K and I shot in BT709, we want Canon Log 2. So hopefully they implement Canon Log 3 coming up because there's more dynamic range. But we want Canalog 2, BT709 to BT709 because that's what I shot in and that's what I want to convert it to. And if you notice, it's the color grade just not too bad. We just got to adjust it a little bit. 
So let's go over here to our color board. Let's go ahead and give this a little saturation. Go over to our exposure. And let's go to our waveform here. And our shadows don't look too bad. Let me bring those down a little bit. Our midtones down a little bit. And our highlights down a little bit. And there you go. So let me go ahead and play this. By the way, that's me handheld jerking, and that's a squirrel in the background that just happened to pop in the shot there. So if you notice, you know, nothing is wrong with the editing. Now, rendering is a whole different story because when I go up here, I hit render all. Now that's the part that's going to take a while. But other than that, I can hit render all and walk away and come back. So this is very quick and easy. I've had no problems on a 2019 MacBook Pro. I don't understand all the hype and controversy about this. So seems easy to me. Multiple ways of doing it. To me, this is my favorite way. So let's go ahead and get back out of this shot. Thanks. All right, everybody. So hopefully you enjoyed this look at 8K RAW and the workflow that goes along with it. As you can see, it's not hard. It just takes a little bit of thinking about it and downloading a few drivers here and there. So Final Cut is by far my fa favorite application to use for the 8K RAW. I'm using a 2019 MacBook Pro, so it's not like I'm using some $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 high-end workstation. And I've had no problems whatsoever with it. So like I said before, rendering, that's a different story. I'll get everything done, hit render all, and walk away, and then come back later. So hopefully you enjoyed this look at the 8K raw workflow and the different options you have and different applications that Canon provides to help you process this really fantastic video. I mean, the sharpness is great. It just looks fantastic. So please give me a comment down below, you know, big double thumbs up or big double thumbs down. If you didn't like this, please everybody be safe out there. We're still going through these pandemic times. Stay healthy, be safe. Thank you for watching and for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.